गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस एक्सरसाइज 6.2 क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सो सी जनरल एक्सरसाइज 6.2 क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन अ गिवन फिगर फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई एंड देन शो दैट ए बी पैरल टू सी डी सो सी जनरल हियर इन अ गिवन क्वेश्चन वन फिगर इज गिवन टू अस एंड इन अ गिवन फिगर दिस इज लाइन ए बी एंड दिस इज लाइन सी डी and one transversal is given to us and here this angle 50 degree given to us and this angle 130 degree given to us here angle x given and here angle y given to us we have to identify their values and also we have to show that line ab and line cd both are parallel to each other that we have to prove means here in a given question and x and y we have to identify and we have to prove that ab line ab and line cd both are parallel to each other so see children here on a given transversal first we will mark four point see children here i can mark point p here i can mark point q here i mark point r and here i mark point s means on a transversal i marked point p point q point r and point s now we will identify x y and then we will prove line ab and line cd are parallel to each other so see children here in a given figure angle aqp see this angle aqp and this angle x can form a linear pair means angle aqp and angle x is a linear pair see exactly half circle form see angle aqp and angle x can form a linear pair and we know that linear pair means their sum is 180 degree means angle aqp plus angle x is equal to 180 degree so see children angle aqp and angle x are linear pair and their sum is 180 degree so angle aqp plus angle x is equal to 180 degree now angle aqp is equal to what 50 degree so instead of angle aqp we can write 50 degree plus then plus then angle x is equal to then is equal to and 180 degree now here we have to identify angle x so 50 degree side we have to change so 50 degree can convert into negative on opposite side of the equal so 180 degree minus 50 degree its answer is 130 degree 50 degree side we have to change this side it is positive it become negative on other side of the equal so angle x is equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree its answer is 130 degree now see children here here angle here angle crs here this angle crs is equal to 130 degree and it is angle y So see, children, angle C R S and angle Y both are vertically opposite angles. See, this is angle C R S and this is angle Y. Both are vertically opposite angle, and we know that vertically opposite angle are always equal. So angle C R S and angle Y both are vertically opposite angle, and they are always equal. So angle C R S and angle I angle Y. are vertically opposite angle and they are equal so angle crs is equal to fy is equal to what 130 degree is equal to 130 degree see C angle crs and angle y both are vertically opposite angle so crs is equal to 130 degree so y is also 130 degree so angle y is equal to 130 degree so see children here angle x is equal to 130 degree and angle y is equal to also 130 degree see angle x is equal to angle y is equal to 130 degree x and y value we identified and it is 130 degree so we can write angle x is equal to angle y is equal to 130 degree means this angle x is equal to 130 degree angle y is equal to 130 degree and see children and see children angle x and angle y both are alternate interior angle see children line ab 
and line CD are given to us and this line PS is their transversal. Line AB and line CD are given to us and line PS is the transversal and angle X and angle Y both are alternate interior angles. See, angle X and angle Y are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. And they are equal also. See, angle X is equal to angle Y is equal to 130 degree. And they are equal. And they are equal. And they are equal. So, see children. Here, transversal PS can intersect line AB and line CD such that alternate interior angles are equal. So, line AB and line CD are parallel to each other. Here, one, one theorem already we discussed. And this theorem is what? When transversal intersect two lines such that alternate interior angles are equal, then given lines are parallel to each other. So, see children. Here, line PS can intersect line AB and line CD such that Alternate interior angle, angle X and angle Y both are equal. See 130 degree, 130 degree. So line AB and line CD both are parallel to each other. So our final answer is value of X is equal to 130 degree, value of Y is equal to also 130 degree and we proved AB parallel CD. So see children, this is the explanation of, exam, of exercise 6.2. Question number one. I hope you can understand this. Thank you.